Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are at Ross and it is Tuesday, January 24th. I didn't come here the first day of the sale, which is Monday yesterday, because I just kind of ran out of time in the day. And also like, I knew it would be craziness. And from the vibes that I was getting on social media, some stuff was marked down, but a lot of stuff wasn't marked down yet. So I thought if I tried Tuesday, they'd have more stuff marked down maybe overnight and this morning. So we're gonna see what we can find. And then I'm gonna do a haul for you guys and film some in-store stuff if it ends up being really good. I started off in the board game section because me and my boyfriend are looking for more board games to play. Lots of the board games were marked off about 30-50% to 50 off. We have some trouble games, really really cheap, this cool Harry Potter game. I'm just showing you guys like the items and then their prices. Most of them were probably like 50-75% to 75 off the normal price and then 30% off the original Ross price found this sorry game that was just six dollars and 49 cents that i thought was really cool there was also lots of kids toys that were marked down and they might might be marked down further they do have the purple reduced clearance tags these are the purple tags that you're looking for all of the christmas items should be 49 cents so like i found an ornament this dog cookie making set as well as some other um, holiday food things that were 49 cents, as well as the Halloween item should also be 49 cents. A lot of this stuff was found in like a special section on kind of like an abandoned aisle or on the end caps where all the 49 cent off season holiday items were. And then they did have quite a few home items that had the purple stickers. None of them that I w ended up picking up because they weren't reduced down enough for like the items that I would want. But I thought there was some really cool stuff like this vase. Oh my gosh, are you serious? This was super cool and I think a good deal. Just stuff that's slightly marked down from the original Ross price. But yeah, if you guys see these purple stickers, that is what you're looking for. The items should be 49 cents and up and like a good discount from the original Ross price. I thought this cereal container was really cool they also had a couple pillows that were marked with the purple stickers so yeah i kind of just wandered the aisles and was looking for everything that had these purple stickers because you never know what price they're going to be i thought this was kind of cool they had this massage gun for like ten dollars i thought this was a super good deal they had kids helmets for three dollars and 49 cents so just check out everything these workout bands for just 99 cents and I did check out the men's underwear section. Some things did have purple stickers, but nothing was like crazy priced, especially for the good name brands. They did have a lot of sock deals though, like big packs of socks that were marked down with purple stickers. These are the ones I ended up picking up, these white Under Armour ones. Usually they don't have the white regular ones in stock and these were $6.99. And oh my gosh, you guys, I, in college, I absolutely would have got these. These are like these high moto boots for like, $20, really good deal. There were some name brand sneakers that had the purple stickers, so definitely check out for those. None of them were like absolutely crazy prices, but they were good prices, even discounted from regular Ross prices. Some Puma slides for like $10, these Nautica sneakers for $15. Had to do an outfit check because I kind of low key dressed up for this occasion because shopping is the only reason I leave my house. And I did check out the women's underwear section. In the clearance section, there was some good deals. Like these underwear were just $1.49. I love the jockey underwear and lots of women's bras were marked down. So definitely check that out if you're interested in undergarments. And then in the beauty section, which I was most excited about, there wasn't much. Some nail polish for $1.99. That was kind of a good deal. Lime Crime lipsticks for $1.99. I thought that was pretty good. Um, I ended up grabbing this jade roller for $3.49. I thought that was a really good deal because they're way more expensive than that. And Amazon and then make sure to check out the checkout aisles this 49 cent clearance item was there and then I wanted to pick up this pet bulb my boyfriend said it would be too small for our dog so I didn't end up picking it up but it was 249 okay so I just got out of Ross and I only picked up four things and I did find 49 cent items um there weren't a ton left but also I kind of get the vibe that my store is still marking stuff down i saw a couple ladies in the aisle and they were marking stuff with the purple stickers so it's very possible that a lot of stuff just didn't get marked down there were also some remaining 
Christmas clearance stuff that was all already 49 cents before this 49 cent sale even started. So I'm just going to go through really quick what I all got. I spent a total of $26.66, which wasn't too bad for everything that I got. One thing I got was not even on sale, not even a purple tag, but I was actually shocked about how cheap it was. And I looked at it frontwards and backwards and didn't find any flaws on it. So, okay. First thing I got was this jade roller and i was planning on getting one of these from amazon anyways because i do want to do gua sha and jade rolling and this one says it's an it's a hundred percent authentic stone so i'm assuming it's real jade there was another bigger one that was also 349 but it didn't say, say that it was a real jade uh, jade stone so i ended up getting the smaller one which i feel like is all i need anyways it was three dollars and 49 cents marked down from 4.99 so decent deal not like dirt cheap or anything but cheaper than i would be able to get it from amazon so now i just need the actual gua sha tool and the second thing i got was this sorry travel board game which i thought was a really cool item to find almost all the board games were marked down with purple stickers this one was priced at six dollars and 49 cents so i thought that was a pretty good deal marked down from 9.99 and I feel like this at Target or Walmart would absolutely be 20 to $30. So I thought that was a really good price. Me and my boyfriend are trying to play more board games. And I like to get them on sale, obviously. I was telling him, I'm like, I will go clearance shopping or whatever to try to find more board games. He's like, just buy them at the regular price. I just want to play more. more. I want to get more games. And I was like, when I saw them on clearance at Ross, I was like, I'm going to get them here and get them for like 33 30 to 60 percent off um the next thing i grabbed was a pack of socks these are all really practical things you guys i'm sorry like i'm not gonna go out and buy every single 49 cent item that i find just for the sake of it um if there was some decent sized items i would buy them to donate but most of the 49 cent items i did find was like dog costumes you know christmas food items an ornament like things that you know somebody out there will find and say oh my gosh this is like a total score and i want this item but if i were to buy it and donate it i don't think anybody really needs those type of items that i found so i decided to pass um but yeah i did get these really cute under armor socks they're basic i mean they're marked down from 9.99 i mean these would be 20 dollars for a six pack at like macy's or anywhere else i thought it was a good deal for six of them for 6.99 and they're all white which is what i wanted usually the basics are always picked over so i was very su surprised to find that so these three items here that i grabbed these were the reduced purple sticker items that were a part of the clearance sale um it seems like as of right now these items were all priced around like 30 percent off from the from the original ticketed price 30 to 50 percent off and then this item actually was probably the best markdown of all the items i found from probably their original ticketed price that you'd be able to get from like the department store let's say so i was just going through all the juniors tops be, like the large t-shirts and like the extra small tank tops to see kind of what i could find because sometimes you find gems a lot of the stuff is really ugly um but i found this tank top and it looks really basic and also it's not cropped and i prefer crop tank tops but i can tuck it in um or i might give this to my sister because i feel like this might be her color i don't know i'm very cool toned and this is a little bit warm tone for me or neutral i think this is it's like a it's they call it marlin so i feel like it is kind of summery very summer tone and i'm definitely more of a like a, a winter tone or spring tone skin tone i'm very cool tone i only wear silver jewelry so i'm probably gonna give this to my sister but i could not pass up on it because it is from the, from, from the brand three dots and i felt this tank top and i was like ain't no way like this this stitching is like from straight out of the 80s you know how like if you are a little bit older like there's t there's shirts where you can just tell the quality from the stitching and you're like okay this is a really expensive shirt it's like the type of stuff that you would be used to be able to get like the j jill shops the only reason i know about this is because they go thrifting all the time so i know the good older brands and this is like a modern version of that i looked up the website three dots.com and 
this shirt is forty dollars this t basic tank top in all the colors is forty dollars there was some markdowns where they were like 50 percent off for like 20 on some of the weird off season colors but this was 6.99 and i did notice this is the three dots tag on it and i did notice that it says 14 junior knit pant and I was like, I wonder if they put the wrong tag on this. But like this was the tag connected and the only tag on it. So whatever. I got it. I'm super proud of it. I'm going to try it on. If it doesn't suit me, which I don't think it will, I'm going to give it to my sister who's very much more like olivey warm toned. But an awesome deal for like a super good quality tank that would do not regret that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Ross haul. Hopefully... I just said this week's Ross haul like it is a CVS video that I do every single week. I hope you guys enjoyed this 49 cent Ross clearance hunting haul. I do love going clearance shopping. I know it's kind of sucky because it changes from store to store. Your store may be amazing. Your store might may be terrible. But I don't know. I just think it's kind of fun to see what people find and just kind of get inspiration to go for yourself. I still think it's worth going throughout this week. Maybe even after this week, you might find some items that are marked down that people didn't find. I think some stores are slowly putting out items and not putting them out all at once yesterday. So definitely check that out. Check it out throughout the week. I may or may not come back, but I'm definitely not going to film it unless I find some crazy stuff. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And also join my Telegram group. It'll be linked in the description box down below. And I post updates on stores like Ross, clearance sales, and a bunch of different online shopping sales. So definitely make sure to follow me on there too. I'll catch you guys in the next one.